my lovelies and welcome to this new video. Today I really wanted to share with you my jewelry collection because it's one of the videos that you guys, just like my handbags and my shoes, you keep kind of requesting for me to do an updated collection. If you've been following me for a while you know that I'm a huge huge fan of both costume and kind of like a high jewelry. I love jewelry so much and I often wear way more than I probably should on me every single time because I just love layering necklaces, I have many many piercings in my ears and I love playing with that, I love changing it up and finding like the perfect kind of curated ear or curated neck, how I like to call it. Since I'm a bit of a fanatic I wanted to share with you my jewelry collection which is not like a huge collection but it has updated significantly since last year's and I have few pieces but I think the pieces that I have are very very wearable like sort of everyday pieces I wear most of the jewelry that I have I would say 99% is in constant rotation constant use and that's what I'm so proud of so nothing just sits in the drawer being unworn and that's great, right? Again, just like last year, I was kind of trying to figure out how am I going to do this because showing jewelry isn't so easy because if I'm like, here's this necklace, here's this ring, it can be very difficult showing. So while I'm here, I will actually show you the stuff that I've got on right now. So these are like my daily pieces, but then everything else I'm kind of going to show you in, in its setup where I keep it, which is also updated. Now at the moment, I kind of wear more or less same necklaces every single day. Uh, actually, this one hasn't changed from the last year. I keep wearing this one for so long now and I love it. And this necklace is from Misoma. Now I have partnered with Misoma to work with them on this video and I hope you will enjoy that because it's one of the jewelry brands. It's probably my favorite, favorite, favorite jewelry brand when it comes to kind of like more affordable pieces and they're all very high quality made and I've been wearing Misoma and buying Misoma myself for years now so I'm very very happy that I'm actually able to work with them on this video. On my neck from let's say from top to bottom because you've already heard about this one so many times I've got a little thin kind of like a twisted necklace which is a choker type of necklace it's very very adjustable and it's like a twisted a necklace from Misoma. Then I've got my Amulet de Cartier which is this little one here with opal. This is known to bring happiness. I've spoken about this before in my previous jewelry collection video and I will link it below so I don't repeat myself too much. Then I've got, this is new from last year I think, and this is the Van Cleef sort of like a mother of pearl necklace. I love it so much. I wear it every day. And then I have, this is the newest necklace in my collection. This is from Misoma with a little turquoise, kind of like a square. I love it matches my earrings and you guys have actually asked me about this one so so much so I will link everything in the description box below. Also I have my Roman coin over here. I've been wearing this one for so long now. I think if I'm not mistaken that I've had this over a year now and I used to wear it all the time with a horn but now I've changed the horn for the turquoise one but it kind of keeps changing all the time when it comes to me so you never know what's gonna be next week. So on my hands, got four rings at the moment. Over here, I've got two Cartier rings. So I have my double love uh, Cartier ring that I got from my sister for my birthday. Then the double Justin Clou. These are pink gold. And then on here, I've got uh, kind of like a more of a yellow gold tone. I've got the love ring and another double ring from Misoma. I love how these two look together. I just think it's so fabulous. My hands, nothing's changed since last year. Literally on my wrists. Same watch. I mean, I now have two other watches as well that I've acquired since last year, but I've got still the same one as I had in jewelry collection video. This is like the best everyday watch. Then I have my love bracelet, my Justin Clou bracelet from Cartier, and my Alhambra bracelet from Van Cleef, also Mother of Pearl. I also have these earrings, like sweet Alhambra little ones. However, they're currently uh, being repaired because just shortly after I bought them, uh, one of the back stoppers kind of stopped working so they are fixed i'm gonna pick them up in milan in 10 days time when it comes to my ear candy i forgot to mention very important thing i have uh, more or less always the same set of earrings except that now you can see i'm wearing a lot more of these turquoise earrings i've had them now for the last few videos i think and they are from misoma i have only few pairs of misoma earrings i but i have like more than 10 of their necklaces because I think their necklaces are just the best. 
I think like on that sort of like um, around I would say average of a hundred pound mark they definitely make the best necklaces and I never really wear any other brands when it comes to high street when it comes to necklaces except from Miss Homa I think they're the best really I said it so many times before as well even when I didn't work with them on a video that being said when it comes to earrings I love them because they never kind of leave like a dark thing in the ear you know how some of the like sort of uh, earrings that are not gold leave mark now they are silver but they're gold plated and i love that they are such great quality they're very very easy to put on i don't know if you can see that but very easy to put on and actually like these are even removable oh so you can have two earrings it removes and you can have either just a simple hoop or a hoop with a turquoise and these come in many different stone colors, so I just love blue because I'm a Pisces, even though I, it shouldn't be turquoise, I think it should be aquamarine. And then I have several other piercings from Maria Tash, most interesting probably my date piercing, I haven't removed this one since February last year. Then I have the bolt, the thunderbolt, I have the turquoise, I just love turquoise in jewelry. The turquoise little hoop from Maria Tash and the little star huggy. And then here I have my two cartilage uh, piercings, a simple hoop, a starry hoop, a star, and the dagger hoop. This one I got from my sister and I love it so much because it was a gift for I think my 29th birthday. Yeah, my sister loves to buy me jewelry. Look how stunning is this neck kind of coordination, right? Now I will insert some other screen grabs of other videos where you could see me especially wear the Roman coin or I also have the sort of like mini mini fang necklace from Misoma and the horn necklace from Misoma. I honestly love them, I recommend them, I will leave a lot of links below for you to check the brand out because I think it's just amazing. Amazing design, very cool design and very very durable. I even shower with these necklaces. Maybe don't tell anybody but... I do, it's true. Anyway, let's go straight into my collection so that you can see everything that I've got and all the new updates and I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's go. So what's different from the last time that you saw my jewelry collection is that I now have a drawer dedicated to my jewelry. There is no special science behind it, except that now you will notice that I use all the boxes that jewelry normally comes in, and that's kind of how I place them. They usually have a little softy pouch, but not always to be placed on, and I quite like this way of organization. The drawer is shallow, but it's long, so everything is so easy um, to reach to, and, you know, it doesn't really create much mess like I said now you will notice that I don't have like a crazy amount of stuff but everything that you see I do wear a lot and I can even like a post picture of almost every single piece in here because I have been wearing them a lot and I have been photographing them when I wear them so I love them now there is no special system in how I plan on showing these to you I've already shown you most of these but I will still talk you through all of them. In the first box over here, I've got most of my like Dior earrings. Now, I quite like them when it comes to sort of like a costume jewelry. Dior is like one great brand that creates really interesting like pearly pieces of jewelry. They're very, very different to many other things. You've seen all of these in the previous jewelry collection video, but I have the tribal earrings. I remember very well getting these uh, when I was going on a first date with my ex-boyfriend. Then the Ja Dior crystal mono earring. The other one is just a B. It's somewhere in here. This is what goes in the other ear. Then there is this one which is like a multi-pearl earring that I love very much. It's very different and when you wear this one it's kind of a statement. So this little hoop with a B, also from Dior. This very different uh, earring with sort of like the recognizable Dior print. Then we have this very, very specific mono earring. And this earring is from Dior Fine Jewelry Collection, gold with a little diamond, and it says we. Oui. I think it's very special and I haven't seen many people actually wear these. In the second compartment I've got the Dior lock necklace. I wear this a lot especially throughout the summer months but because I prefer actually layering my necklaces then you don't really, you see me often wear many necklaces rather than just one but when I wear this one it's the only one I wear so I even remove like everything. 
Over here I have got some of my uh, Adra Misoma pieces of jewelry. Now these two uh, little like uh, fang, mini fang necklaces, I have two of them because I love them so much that I'm so so scared if something happens to it. I'll insert some of the pictures of me wearing it throughout the summer months. You guys also should follow uh, Misoma London on Instagram. I think their Instagram account is amazing. It's very inspiring for just kind of like, you know, curating like your perfect collection and having a nicely designed jewelry like neck or ear i also have like this little double earring it's so pretty so it's like very very fine um sort of chain with these little golden balls on it i have these little earrings and i also have a very spectacular necklace that my sister stole i mean just for a day but i just couldn't say no and she loves it so much so i would say that i'll insert the picture now as i'm telling you um but i would say this would be a perfect present if you um want to gift something to a friend i think or a m or your mother or a cousin i think this could be perfect because actually so many of my friends love them over here we have some Dior hoops, can you see them? So these Dior hoops I got uh, before fashion show one season and I have another pair of hoops from Dior, like a large one, let me try and show you. Here we go, like a thin kind of uh, hoops, they're asymmetric and you know how much I like things that are different. Then I have two different Dior chokers, this one says Ja Dior in silver and this one over here says Ja Dior in gold. Then I have these two simple huggies. I don't actually know where these are from, but they, they've been there for a while now. Over here I have two pairs of Fendi hoops. These ones I got from my friend Vicky Victoria Rader. She is basically um, a German influencer and I got them from her as a birthday gift. She's so generous and I love these, they're so beautiful. And then I have these older version with like a white leather, silver and gold, also Fendi logo. Now everybody knows that my friend Camilla Carrill created her jewelry collection um, which launched last September and this is what I've got from her line. She's so incredibly talented and I can talk you through like every single piece but I have so much so I don't know how this is gonna go. I mostly wear these two rings. You've seen me wear them a lot I think so far they're so beautiful um then i love wearing these bug hoops like they're like rainbow hoop with a little bug underneath i love where's my favorite favorite this is my favorite 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 it's a little bee and this is you don't need the piercing for this i have some rings from her collection camilla is extremely talented and i really think she's doing an amazing job over here i have some of my favorite hair clips a lot of them are from zara then this one's stunning. It's from Jennifer Bear. She creates most incredible hair accessories. So are these little butterflies. So beautiful. Really lovely. Then some Dior ones because you know when you work in this industry that I do, you end up having a lot of custom jewelry and um, just costume jewelry and just a lot of hair accessories from the brands like Versace as well. There's a very interesting one over here that my friend Sincerely Jules designed as well in a collaboration. It's a bit tangled but it's stunning. Okay we made it to the second row. I have, you've seen all of this before, this is my Christian Dior bracelet. I don't know where the other one is. I got this from Dior for Christmas I think 2000. 17. Then I have a few necklaces, Mr. Christian Dior's favorite star symbol. Look how beautiful. I I really love these. They look like they're made of kind of like vintage metal and that's what I think gives them a bit of special value. Over here are some of my favorite like YSL mono earring. This is beautiful. I have a Fendi bracelet. I don't really wear this one that much but I wish I should. Also the Chloe earrings. Never even wore them. Maybe I should sell these. They're kind of... they're they're really quirky. One of the favorite pieces of jewelry I have is this Ambush Key Mono Earring. I love Ambush as a brand and I love wearing this. Two other Maria Tash earrings. Now these are diamonds and gold so I keep them in these little plastic things because they would otherwise get lost very easily. Now over here moment we're all, all very excited for. The latest addition to the Chanel or Shanzi how I like to call it family would be a pair of these Chanel earrings. 
just before them I got these from the Chanel by the Sea collection, also beautiful. Then I have two brooches by Chanel. I don't wear them that much, but I think they're fabulous to have. Then these are my first ever Chanel earrings. My sister bought them to me very long ago. They have Lucky Shamrock over here. I love them. I think they're very, very special. These ones that I wore, I think... Did I wear these in my previous video? I can't remember, but I love them. I wear these a lot. Over here we have a pearl necklace, which I tend to wear in my hair very often with open back or kind of like to style it differently rather than just a pearl necklace. Here we have a piece which is the newest in my collection. It's from my friend Dani. She designs these and like ones with the evil eye. Uh, she's Colombian, she's amazing and I think these are absolutely stunning. As you can see I have a lot of um, friends who design jewelry and they're so um, talented. I have my Dolce & Gabbana earrings. These are very very old, I think two years old now. And um, I don't really wear these much anymore. You guys know I was recently talking about the brand. I think the whole drama will kind of go down soon, but I, I'm not going to get rid of these because I really, really love them. I think they suit me so well. They're beautiful. I just don't tend to wear them as much anymore. Over here we have something for an amazing cause. And these are uh, the colorful Louis Vuitton bracelets. Now that this is all tangled, I'm really sorry about this. But this is for a beautiful cause and I cannot wait to wear these during the summer months more. Uh, because obviously like every time you buy a Louis Vuitton look, bracelet um, proceeds go to children in need. I also have my Cartier bracelet. This is a love bracelet but it's like the cheapest kind of version. I tend not to wear it so much because I get annoyed when this gets wet. Mine came on a pink thread and you can exchange it as many times as you want for free. In here somewhere I also have the gamble earrings from Louis Vuitton and the bracelet and this has quite strong emotional value for me so I'm not getting rid of them. I have also a Princess Cooler mono earring with crystals that bring good energy and you will notice that I have a crystal over there. Yep, and I think somewhere else and I like having crystals around me because you know getting rid of bad energy and bad people. Then over here I have another bracelet from my Hermes Kelly watch which is actually living over there. I now have it on a double strap in camel color and I don't really tend to wear it as much as I used to before. Talking about watches, I don't normally keep them here but I think it could be quite useful to show them to you now in this video. So we have my uh, AP watch. I feel like the light is kind of like doesn't... Ah, there we go. It's such a beautiful watch. I kind of feel sometimes like this is my favorite watch I own because I just really, really enjoying this one. It's a little bit more masculine. It's a steel watch uh, with a gray background and diamond uh, bezel. I really, really love this watch. Like, I'm obsessed. Now, the latest addition to my collection is this Daytona watch with uh, gold and silver kind of materials. It has dark mother of pearl um, dial and diamonds all around the numbers. I love it. I think it's very special. The Kelly watch is my oldest watch. I think it's very feminine. And then of course this one which you have already seen. Okay guys, over here, I hope it's in focus because it's quite hard to show these little details. We have um, some more bracelets. So I have this Chanel sort of like a black plastic bracelet. I haven't worn this one in a very, very long time, but it just has sort of like Chanel pearl logo on top of it. I'm a huge fan of Hermes bracelets, so I've got three of these click clacks. Since I don't wear silver much, this one is the least worn, but it kind of goes well with my AP watch. I wear the most these two. Now, I think this is rose gold, this is yellow gold, or is it the other way around? I can never tell. <laughs> this is mint green and this is rosy purple. Then I have this one over here. I love it. I think it's also very, very special, also from Hermes. This leather bracelet is white on one side and orange in, on the inside, and the sides are interchangeable. Then I have a Bulgari snake bracelet. I love snakes, and I'm snake in Chinese horoscope, so I feel very... I don't know, I love that animal. I have a leather Balenciaga bracelet because these used to be very trendy, but I also don't wear this one anymore. I might sell it. And some Balenciaga earrings over there at the bottom. Over here I have two Eddie Borger chokers. I think these are the sexiest chokers, like, ever. And I also have a Dior choker. 
it goes with the matching hoops that you could see at the beginning of this video. For here I have a Moschino choker and I will insert the picture to show you what this looks like on. It's pretty cool and a very very special piece. Guys, we got to the last point of this jewelry collection video and here we have two pairs of Alessandro Rish earrings from two different collections. So really beautiful. I cannot decide which ones I love better. I've worn both of them. They're very very specific but they're very fashionable and they're both clip-ons just like the Dolce & Gabbana ones. You will notice here at the back that I keep some of the Van Cleef pouches and some of the Twillies at the back there. Starting from the left, I have some Hermes, Hermes, Dior, Hermes, Paula Cadimatori, Dior, and this is Emilio Pucci. So, that is it. And ladies and gentlemen, here is a final overview of my jewelry collection. That was all for my jewelry collection. What was your favorite piece? I'm super curious to know. Do you have something that you would recommend me that i like to check out? I'm super interested in Anita Ko. Uh, earrings. I'm currently eyeing them up, uh, but also there are a few other pieces on my wish list, like a thin version of Justin Clou ring. I think it would be much more wearable and quite cute. Also, maybe I need to start like kind of update my love bracelet collection. But I think it's kind of sad to buy a love bracelet for yourself. So hinting out there to the universe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very very soon. Bye, guys.